Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and let's talk about Sturgis Rally, but specifically the motorcycle laws that are enforced out here during the rally. So let's start off with one of the big ones. Do I need a helmet? If you are over the age of 18, you do not need a helmet. If you're under the age of 18, you need to have a helmet on your motorcycle. But eye protection is required. There's a couple of caveats. If you have a windshield that is protecting your eyes, you do not need to have eye protection. That's a little bit gray for me, so unless you have a great big windshield, I would probably go ahead and go with eye protection. The other part of that is you cannot wear your sunglasses at night if they have more than 35% tint. Again, I don't know if I would leave that up to local law enforcement to determine what the tint is. Matter of fact, generally wearing sunglasses at night is a bad idea no matter how much tint they have. So plan on uh, that and pack some clear glasses. A couple of the other big ones, handlebars. Is there a handlebar law here out here in Sturgis, South Dakota? There used to be, but as of 2015, that law is no more. So hang them high. We have no handlebar laws. Do whatever floats your boat. Okay, exhaust. Now, the exhaust law, the way it's written, is a little bit open-ended. It says you must have a muffler in good working order in constant operation to prevent excessive noise. That could be interpreted a lot of ways. I'm just gonna tell you, probably gonna be okay unless you're downtown, just racking off your pipes at every stoplight, causing a disturbance. Other than that, I don't think you'll have a problem. Again, that law is a little bit open-ended. Mirrors, yes, you have to have mirrors. Doesn't really say scope, size, anything like that. You gotta have some mirrors. If you're carrying a passenger, you have to have passenger pegs. And if I was your passenger, I would hope you would have pegs. Okay, let's talk a little bit about lighting. You don't have to actually have your headlight on here during the day. If you go over into Wyoming, our neighboring state, however, you do. And again, I couldn't find an exact time when you have to turn your headlight on, but at dusk, I'm assuming you need to have that headlight on or you're probably gonna get pulled over. And again, you should have your headlight on in the dark anyway. Now, having said that, uh, head headlight modulators aren't legal in every state. They are actually legal here. So with headlight modulators where it causes the headlight to pulse, that's actually okay here. As far as the tail light, it has to be red and visible from 500 feet. And for you OG guys out there, yes, the blue dots are okay. There are some states where you can't have those red and blue lights. The old school blue dot tail light that has a little blue dot in the center of it is perfectly fine, as long as the blue dot isn't bigger than one inch. Let's talk about actually riding your motorcycle. There are certain things in place, I'm sure, because of egregious offenses by rowdy bikers over the years. If you are carrying something on your motorcycle, you technically cannot be carrying it in your hands and impeding your ability to ride the motorcycle. So make sure if you're gonna make a beer run, you strap it to the back of your bike, strap it somewhere, and you're not using your hands to hold it. Speaking of riding your bike, you have to be basically in control of your motorcycle with your legs on both sides and at least one hand on the handlebar. If you're doing fancy stuff like riding side saddles, standing on your motorcycle, standing on your tank, expect to get pulled over. Drinking and driving. That's a bad thing, don't do it. Shouldn't have to say that, but I'll go ahead and say it. There are some taxis around here, ride services, things like that, they'll get you home. Having said that, in the city of Sturgis, we don't really have rideshare programs like Lyft and Uber. They are in some of the surrounding areas, but at the time of this video, they're not available. So if you're planning on an Uber to get you somewhere, plan on something else. Come downtown, you're gonna see flyers and signs for buses that run to campgrounds, things like that. There are some taxis, so plan on using those. Parking, so if you do plan on going downtown, have a rip run time, know that at 2 a.m. they're going to tow your bike. When the bars close, bikes get towed because they bring street sweepers through every night. And not every parking lot down here, in fact, most parking lots downtown Sturgis are privately owned, and those are subject to whoever owns them. If you leave them overnight in a parking lot, will be towed. Most of the places have signage, just know where you park, and then if you're parking somewhere you're not sure of, your bike could be towed. You West Coasters out there, uh, I love the lane splitting. I wish we had it here, but unfortunately we do not. Lane splitting will get you a ticket. You can ride side by side in a lane, but no more than two people. Try going three across or four wide into a turn, 
probably gonna get a ticket. Also, make sure you come to complete stops in town. They like to keep that traffic flowing, but they also like to make sure everybody comes to a stop. So just to be safe, not to get a cheap ticket, you when you pull up to a stop sign, stop, give it a one, two count, maybe throw both feet on the ground before you go on about your business. If you want any more information about stuff like this, head on over to Countersteer and check out our article on Sturgis Motorcycle Laws. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me a comment and go ride those motorcycles.